What's going on, guys? Ryan here with Michigan Storm Chasers. The forecast for today remains unchanged from yesterday. There is a marginal risk of severe weather that butts into southwest Michigan from Grand Rapids over toward that cold water area and then points to the west in dark green. Other areas across Michigan, they're in light green colors, indicate general thunderstorms are possible. Those are just going to be your general pop-up to summertime thunderstorms that could dump a lot of rain. Some big thunder as well as perhaps some gusty winds should not be too much of a big deal today. Now, this marginal risk is in place because there is a lot of uncertainty today in regards to the overall evolution of storms to the west of us. So what I mean by that, looking at models, we usually have like a big line coming through. We have some pop-ups in a good environment. Well, today we're looking at a line that's going to develop out in the Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin border areas. That's expected to push east southeastward through Illinois and Indiana and perhaps southwest Michigan. That will not happen until later on. So today, for the most of us, should be on the drier side of things. But if you live close to a lake where you're prone to lake breeze boundaries, we could see a couple storms try to pop up along those boundaries as it is very humid and very uh, not going to be, I'm not going to say hot, but it's warm and it's it's humid and muggy out there. So uh, the environment today does seem just a bit favorable there for some pop-up storms, but overall organized severe weather is going to hold off until later tonight. And even then there's uncertainty. So jumping into the model here, the NAM3, we have some showers and storms up in the Thumb of Michigan, that general vicinity, as that pushes eastward as it rotates out of the state. Attention then turns out here to this squall line that develops out here in Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois area. That's expected to push and develop eastward overnight tonight. There it is. We see a couple of complexes there develop in Wisconsin. Note, notice that, how that kind of dies out. But notice back there in Iowa there, we have that complex that develops late tonight. And that does push east, south, eastward. Now, with these complexes, models have a terrible time handling these things. So there's a lot of uncertainty as to where this develops, if it maintains, if it dies, how far east it tracks, or in this case, how far south it tracks. So right now, the NAM3 model is the only model that main model, should I say, that we utilize that shows anything developing at all. So we have a big old squall line here. It pushes in late tonight, be like late, late, talking like after midnight. Uh, type of time frame. But we look over at the most commonly used HRRR model and run this through the period here. We're going to see, again, just some pop-ups in uh, eastern Michigan today, uh, but for the majority of us, we're dry. But then tonight, we have a couple pop-ups there in the UP. This is at 8 p.m. tonight. Notice how nothing really develops out to the west here. This is at 2 in the morning at this point. We have some storms going off in Illinois down here. But for the majority, where's that big old squall line that developed out here in Iowa on the NAM 3? Uh, so models are kind of going back and forth. So basically what I'm trying to communicate to you guys is there is a potential for a squall line or lines of storms to develop somewhere from Wisconsin, Iowa, we'll say Minnesota, Illinois area, and that will track east, south, eastward. And if it tracks more to the north at that point, then we become concerned for southwest Michigan. And that is why that marginal risk is in place. The only hazard that we currently see with any type of activity today would be damaging winds. There is not really any support for tornadoes or hail, so those aren't really a, a very high concern at all. The SPC does have only a wind risk in place for the exact same areas, from Grand Rapids, basically up to Ludington, perhaps, all the way down through cold water, and then points to the west toward Lake Michigan in that severe risk today. But again, the entire state today does have a chance of a pop-up shower and storm, potential, or primarily, should I say, close to the Lake Breeze boundaries from Lake Erie inland and Lake Michigan inland, as well as Lake Huron as well. So uh, with that being said, that is today's forecast. There is a severe risk tomorrow as well. We're going to cover that a little bit more in detail tomorrow or perhaps tonight as well. Uh, but overall, that is your forecast today. Be nice and muggy out there. Enjoy it. As far as the Aurora Northern Lights go, there is a chance yet again tonight, and there is a better chance of clear skies. Looking at the latest cloud cover model off the HRRR, if we can stay dry for the majority of today and tonight, it should be primarily clear for a lot of us here. Here is 10 p.m. tonight. We have just some lingering clouds there across north central Michigan. The UP is broken cloud cover up there. Further south you go toward the Indiana-Ohio borders. It remains clear or mostly clear. 
just some scattered clouds moving out there. 1 a.m. here, majority of the state still uh, in the clear here, but then some clouds start to work in a bit later on across southern south central Michigan. So overall, I think about a 75% chance tonight that we're going to have clear skies throughout Michigan at some point. So the aurora is definitely still active. It's potential for that to continue into tonight. So if that happens, we'll go ahead and post on the page about it. So stay tuned to our Facebook page for updates regarding that. But overall, it's going to be a muggy day. So stay cool. Uh, don't overwork yourself and stay hydrated. And then as always, if you do happen to live in Southwest Michigan, you should be fine for the majority of the day. Uh, but later on tonight, especially after midnight, we could see a couple of complexes take shape to our west. Hopefully they miss us to the south or they don't form at all. But if they do, we'll be here covering it, tracking it live for you guys. All right. With that being said, I'm going to be out of here. We'll see you guys tonight and perhaps tomorrow for another severe weather update.